early morning walk <laughs> and you can see how excited Miko is. He can hardly wait. He's like that every morning. So we're out the door and you can see that Daryl is doing the handling because I'm always doing the filming. It's a beautiful morning to be walking. The temperature is perfect. And this is our neighbor Ken's yard. He's growing papaya there. And he and his wife Martha live here in this home. It's a beautiful little home and it's a, it's a great little piece of property just down the street from where we live. As you can see, Miko's having a great time skipping along. He just loves these morning walks. We're just having a very nice casual walk down the neighborhood. So we're out on one of our morning walks with our dog. And as we're walking up the street, one of our neighbors, someone that we don't know, but we know them now, came out to greet us. And actually we had already passed by his house. And he, came, he ran up the street and caught us and invited us into his home for coffee. And <laughs> I'm going to, uh, some of the footage will show the celebration, if you will, that we had the visit that we had. And we ended up staying for what, four hours? Four hours. <laughs> Uh, and so the following videos will just kind of show the camaraderie and, and what happened while we were visiting. So remember I told you that we got invited in for coffee? Well, we got our coffee and then the next thing we know Another course came out. You see that, um, that's, that's Ken <laughs> and Daryl. Um, but anyway, she brought course after course. That green juice you saw was a delicious um, cucumber. Cucumber juice with limon. And Daryl, you wanna describe that? Yeah, we had some very good um, tacos. Uh, tacos and some biscuits go along with our meal, and it was just a, a lot of food. Yeah, she just kept she just kept bringing out these courses, and we're thinking we had no idea. It's a good thing we didn't eat breakfast. We had no idea. <laughs> like Daryl is Daryl is astounded, <laughs> but Martha's, Martha's in the kitchen, and listen, she's adorable. She goes in and makes this hibiscus um, tea for me. From scratch, she had organic hibiscus flowers. And um, I mean, I, I, I was delighted. So she's showing how she boiled them down. Re that's a little reduction. And uh, she made a wonderful tea while we were sitting there talking. So it was, <laughs> it was quite a surprise, yeah? Yeah, and, that, and that, on that plate next to the tea was some uh vegan cheese that she had made and see it really good. <laughs> listen you see how our plates are empty it was really good and I'm talking organic food where they take stuff fresh from their their garden just lovely people put water and, and for boiling and when the flower is open and the and the the what is the color red is ready and you do you need to put this in the in the refrigerator and you put um ice when do you you put ice in your glass and water a little sugar or honey and it's really for to drink this is this is very it's vitamin c very vitamin hard. c vitamin C and it's good for your kidneys. Now listen guys, this is hot to the touch. So this is fresh off 
the stove and she's putting it in the refrigerator so that it can cool off and then it will be for me to make my wonderful hibiscus fresh organic real hibiscus tea you remember that vegan cheese i told you about this is a close-up of it this stuff is really good it's got peppers in it and spices and all kinds of good stuff and uh this, there's ken in the background having a nice conversation with me and this is the ginger turmeric tea that she made for us very healthy very good stuff just delicious uh, didn't even need any sweetening it was just great the way it was and she used like real ginger and real turmeric not tea leaves everything's made from scratch here so then we get invited to dinner for father's day and she makes this delicious dish called pazoli and this is a tostada delicious and then after dinner they decide to invite us to take a stroll around the corner to the yacht club so we had usually passed this in the mornings when no one is there so this is really quite the treat for us to see how it looks when it's occupied and in full swing there's a, a boat yard next to the yacht club obviously because it's a yacht club and so we go inside, as you can see, it's, uh, it backs up to the lake. So it's in perfect location for uh, around the corner from where we live to, uh, to take a, a boat ride or uh, just kind of sit on the lakeside and enjoy the view. So it's a really, and you can rent kayaks and boats and all kinds of things in here. So it's a really cool facility. Come in. Kids in water. And we have <laughs> some libations. Another little eating area there. And then there's a little play area for the children. It's really quite lovely. Hola, buenas tardes. Okay. Yes, sir. Did you order something? No, I wanted to see what you wanted to drink. I'm sorry, for the moment, would you like something to drink? Uh, no, I don't want anything right now. Uh, you wanna... Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿Me ofrezco alguna bebida? Sí, sí. Did you see the waiter when I answered his question? It looked almost like 
I didn't answer the question correctly because I said what I said and then he just kind of looked down but I think he was just waiting for my for my answer. I, he asked me if I wanted to uh, if I would like to order a drink and I said yes yes and then I think he was just waiting on me to say I would like to have a margarita but it took me a minute I had to look at the menu but anyway it was a fun evening and um, yeah, it was great. Yeah, um, Martha and uh, Ken are very friendly, very hospitable people, and Martha can throw down. That's all I got to say. She can cook, and uh, and Ken's very uh, sociable, and you know he, he he has a lot to say, and he's always got something interesting to add to the conversation. So they're great people to be around. Very and very health conscious. Every when I talk to her, it's like talking to another. Uh, holistic colleague. She knows a lot about holistic um, medicine and well wellness, so it's just really a delight to have met them. So anyway, that's the end of another adventure for us. Um, thank you for joining us, and um, if you like our content, um, please like our page, and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Press the button. See you on our next adventure. See you next time. Bye.